Hamila Babcock was born in Franklin, Vermont on September 8, 1837. He attended school in Vermont and in Waukesha, Wisconsin before his family came to Nina in 1849. There, at the age of 12, he and his brothers worked for their father, a building contractor, who was hired to construct the Nina segment of the Fox, Wisconsin waterway that opened Lake Winnebago to commerce. In 1857, while still in their teens, Babcock and his friend Alfred Kimberly started their own dry goods business. The two young men also established the unusual business culture of equal ownership and shared management. In 1869, they made use of Babcock's construction background to build the Reliance Mill, the city's largest flour mill. Babcock married Frances Kimberly, his business partner's cousin from Troy, New York, in 1872. Also in 1872, Kimberly and Babcock organized a joint stock paper company with four other investors. A month later, the investors changed to include C.B. Clark and F.C. Shattuck, and the company renamed Kimberly, Clark and Company. In 1874, by a memorandum of agreement, the equal ownership was formally established between the four partners, Kimberly, Babcock, Clark and Shattuck. In doing so, they consciously avoided the dissension that plagued other businesses and experienced an unparalleled rate of growth and expansion. The company grew quickly, beginning with the construction of the Globe Paper Mill in 1872, the purchase of the original Nina Paper Mill in 1874, the organization of the Atlas Paper Company in 1878, the construction of the Vulcan Paper Mill in 1881, the Tioga Paper Mill in 1883, the Badger Paper Mills in 1884, the new Nina Paper Mill in 1885, the organization of the Tallulah Paper Company in 1887, and construction of the Kimberly Mill in 1889. The Atlas Paper Company Mill Building is now the home of the Paper Discovery Center and the Paper Industry International Hall of Fame. Through this rapid expansion of capacity, Kimberly Clark and Company established the Fox River Valley as one of the leading centers of paper production in the United States. In 1880, the company was incorporated as Kimberly and Clark Company, with Kimberly as president and his closest associate, Babcock, as vice president, working together for the next 20 years. Babcock would also take a highly visible leadership role in the organization of the Shattuck and Babcock Paper Company in 1890, which would become the largest producer of fine writing papers in the United States. Babcock was also the devoted father of five children, and an avid hunter and fisherman. Babcock enjoyed a wide circle of friends and had a passion for quality that is most evident in the home he built on East Wisconsin Avenue in Nina. In 1889, F.J. Sensenbrenner, a 1998 Hall of Fame inductee, had joined Kimberly and Clark Company as an accountant. Babcock became a mentor and close personal friend of Sensenbrenner. When Clark died in 1890, Shattuck and Kimberly withdrew from work in 1905. Babcock served as a pivotal link in the transition of leadership to F.J. Sensenbrenner. In 1928, when Kimberly died and Sensenbrenner became president, the name of the company was changed for the fourth time to Kimberly Clark Corporation. Havila Babcock died on April 21, 1905 at the age of 68. He was survived by his wife and five children.